Hi, welcome to the next lecture. In this lecture, we are going to talk about the FPGA and CPLD architecture. Okay, so let's start with the FPGA architecture. So the FPGA structure uh, is actually uh, built from a gate array okay, of uh, FPD, featuring a general structure that allows okay, a very high logic capacity. Now, that means that an FPGA is actually built Okay, from uh, uh, field programmable devices, okay, and as you can see right here, okay, so I have this uh, photo of uh, of an FPGA. So every FPGA includes this uh, uh, CLB, which is a configurable uh, logic block, and the switch matrix. This already uh, we already talked about this on the previous lecture. Okay, so let's take a look on every CLB here. So what CLB here contains is actually a loot, which is a, a lookup table, okay, and I will explain this in a second. And we have uh, the D flip flop, okay, which is a, a reg register, okay, that can um, actually save uh, data, okay. So it can save one bit here, okay. Each CLB can save uh, one bit here with the D flip flop, and we have a MOOCs, okay. So the MOOCs can uh, uh, toggle between, uh, you know, saving data, okay, to a lookup table. Now what lookup tables mean, okay, so this is very, very simple. Okay, so you need to imagine that you have like a black box, okay, with inputs inside. Okay, you can have, let's say, four inputs for this example, okay. And one output okay so the input will be a to uh, d okay and the output let's co just call it out okay so um let's see the options that we have here okay so this will be a b c and d and as we call it a lookup table it's actually a table so we have here an out okay so the options will be uh, 0, 0, 0, 001, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, and so on and so on until we get to 1, 1, 1, and 1. Okay, so for every option here, we have an output. Okay, so for example, this will be a 1, okay, this will be 0, this will be 0, and so on and so on until we get here let's say that this one is one okay so this is what it means when you're talking about the lookup table okay now every clb will have its own lookup table okay so when you're writing your code um, it will build a lookup tables okay that will get connected to each other and for example if you're uh, having this uh, lookup table okay and then you're putting uh, these inputs, you will get here uh, one. Now, as much as you know, we can build from this um, everything, okay? So with the lookup table, we can build, uh, for example, and end gate, okay? How do we do that, okay? So let's just take a look on, uh, let's just take a look on this one, even with uh, four inputs. So if we have an end gate, this is for an example how how we build uh, an AND gate with a lookup table, and you have uh, two inputs, okay, A and B, and one out, okay. And this is just an example with uh, two pins. You can do the same with four pins, okay. It will just take uh, a long time, but I will explain you the method so you will understand. So A, B, and out. Okay. So how does it look like? Okay. Uh, okay, so we have four options here. Yes. And the options will be zero and zero would be uh, 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 zero. Okay, this is an end. And of course, all of this, this is, this is how it looks like, okay? Now, what do we do with it? Uh, if, if you know what to do with this, how to uh, how to solve this problem out, okay? 
So for example, for solving this out, you have a, a kernel map, okay? And with this map, you can put uh, all the inputs. For example, we have A and B here. So this is just A and uh, B, okay? And for all of uh, the options, okay? So this will be uh, only one zero and one zero. So for zero and zero, we have uh, zero. Uh, zero 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 and one so this is the only option we have with kernel map you can only uh, imagine that uh, the output will be equal to uh, a multiplied by uh, b okay so this is just an example of how we are going to use uh, uh, this um, lookup table okay so with this uh, full uh, lookup table if I'm going uh, back with this full uh, lookup table you can actually uh, you know create everything that you want so you can just take you know only uh, uh, this if you want uh, you know uh, let's say C multiplied by uh, D so you can just put if you write in this down inside uh, the VHDL code so it will just create uh, uh, this lookup table and everything else will be uh, zero and then you have actually an end gate okay so okay so let's again take a look on this so we have the lookup table and we have the the flip-flop which is a register and we have the MOOCs okay okay so uh, if you want to actually uh, uh, think about this so this will be your uh, CLBs okay this is how they are connected, and this is how you, uh, this is how the uh, switch matrix are going to be uh, connected. Okay, and uh, you need you need to know that FPGA has more features like uh, DSP and PLL blocks, high speed I IO ports, and in the last versions we even have a built-in uh, processor with uh, more than uh, one core. Okay, now about the uh, CPLD uh, structure. Okay. So a general CPLD uh, structure uh, actually contains um, many uh, PLDs, okay? So if you so if you want to uh, take a look on a general uh, uh, CPLD structure, it has many PLDs inside, okay? Collection of PLDs, and all of them are connected again with an interconnection matrix. And what actually uh, uh, PLDs are, okay? So let's just start uh, with a CPLD, okay? So CPLD, um, with its name, its name is a complex PLD, and it contains an arrangement of uh, SPLD-like uh, block, okay? So this is how it's called, okay? And so let's just write it down. Okay, let's just erase this one. And this is how it calls SCPLD and it contains SPLD uh, like block, okay? And SPLD, okay, is actually a uh, um, refer to any uh, uh, type of a uh, simple PLD. Okay, so it can be a uh, uh, PAL, okay, or an PLA. Okay, so uh, a PLA is a programmable logic array and a PAL is a programmable array logic, okay, and um, both of them, okay, contains a FPD, okay, which is a, a field programmable devices, okay, and the only difference I will show you right now, okay? So this is, for example, is a PLA, okay? So you can program uh, uh, the end gates here, okay? Or you can program the OR gates, okay? And right here, this is the structure, okay? So again, this is the uh, PLA. This is after you program it, okay? So you can see... Um, this is like the interconnection matrix. Okay, so uh, the wires are going to be uh, connected. Okay, and then you will have, uh, as I told you, 
it's it's the same like in the uh, it reminds the lookup table okay but it's a little bit different okay so for example if you wanted to multiply uh, the x and y you can see here the multiple of the x and y and then you add uh, the inverted y uh, multiplied by the z and so on and the pal uh, which is almost the same has a fixed or okay so this would be fixed and a programmable end okay so uh, this is uh, actually the difference between uh, the two of them okay and what you need to know more is that uh, this is how a, a, a pld a structure look likes okay looks like okay and this is a regular uh, a pld actually actually and you have the uh, mac macro cell pld architecture which is uh, in the cplds of uh, today so what they uh, did actually they added the option of uh, a diff leaf flop okay a register and this is the common uh, uh, used okay by today so you have your a, a, a pal and a macro cell a pld architecture okay so you need to know that today inside your uh, pld okay um, that inside the cpld you have many many plds that contains a pal and a, a, the macro cell okay architecture which contains uh, the diff flip-flop that can actually uh, uh, hold okay uh, the data on uh, registers and this is it for now this is for this lecture okay and i'll see you on the next lecture and this is for now and thank you